Hello anyone and everyone, my name is April. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing. This is the second unboxing I've done where I'm gonna be trying out different book boxes and just giving them a go, see which one speaks to me and maybe something I wanna continue. Um, today I have Owl Crate Jr. I did Owl Crate last month and uh, I was gonna try just a different type of book box or bookish box and I saw that their junior box was going to be dragon themed and I'm pretty sure that their books are more catered to middle grade readers which I really like middle grades so I thought you know what dragons middle grade I want to add more to like my middle grade reading repertoire if you will so Let's go ahead and unbox it. I haven't seen it yet. I just got it in today, so it'll be a surprise to everybody as it, I guess, should be, but whatever, you know what I mean. So let's get to unboxing. So this is what it came in, a little dangly. So right off the top this is adorable like this is a really cute little like what is it like a like a spoiler card it's really cute really pretty so I'm not gonna look at that right now <laughs> I'm gonna open first okay so I did see that there's going to be a mug in here that was going to be inspired from the Hobbit so and I love the Hobbit it's probably my favorite Tolkien story so I was really excited about that. Okay, so it comes in a box like this. It says, never laugh at live dragons. Enjoy a beverage with smog, Tolkien's most fearsome dragon. This beautiful mug was inspired by The Hobbit and designed with love by Kara Kosick. And it's dishwasher and microwave safe. <laughs> which is a staple for a mug like let's be real nobody likes a mug that you can't put in the microwave like the dishwasher okay but the microwave girl this is pretty cool I really like how it's like kind of retro like retro-ish art not the like typical art you see it feels very much like something you would see on more of a retro book it's really cute it's so cute I'm so glad it's, it's a good size mug too I'm so glad to have a dragon mug awesome I love it okay was creative so they did ooh, a jasmine tea dragon bath bomb I don't take a lot of baths I bathe my daughter regularly so I don't know if it's safe for a child but maybe I'll take one with her one day it'd be kind of fun to drop a bath bomb in and she'd be like what what is this but if you can see, it has like little sparkly bits. I, ever since I got COVID in the beginning of the year, I kind of lost my sense of smell. I got it back a little bit with time, but a lot of smells I can't smell. And so I want to like see if I can, I can kind of smell something. It's kind of sweet. Not really... I mean, jasmine's really sweet, so maybe it's more jasmine-y. I can't even open it. I honestly can barely even smell anything. <laughs> it 
<laughs> so I don't know if that's just the way it is or if it's just me, but it looks really cute. And I love the idea that it's like a little dragon egg. Oh, it's Toothless. I love him. Oh my gosh. I love how to train your dragon. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I love him. I have this little pop doll up there. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I'm definitely putting that on my keychain. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is cool. Okay, so this is like a 40, is it 40? Three, it says 3D Carb, cardboard model kit. It's kind of cute. That's kind of cool. Actually, no. Um, I have a, my best friend has a young boy. Um, he's eight, going to be nine. We're going to be eight around that range. I think he'd really like to do this. So let me pass this in, to him and maybe do it with him. Or I think he'd really like this. And this is cute. This is really cute. I like this. We also got a Wings of Fire, which is like a bookmark. And this, I kind of, I think I, I think it did say what they were going to put something like this. Um, I have the graphic novel. Um, do I have it out? Hmm. I don't know. It's somewhere over there. I read one of the Wings of Fire's like standalone novels the middle of the year and I, I didn't really like it but I have the graphic not one of the graphic novels to the series but it's so funny because I don't know why but seeing this bookmark like this with that scholastic immediately brought me back to the scholastic book fair as a child <laughs> and they'd have like little bookmarks you could buy and stuff uh, but this is cute this is cute I like this a bookmark with dragons yes Okay, so then here's the book. So we got The Night Silver Promise by Annalise Avery. Okay, so I have a letter from the author, signed little sticker that you could put in the book, I think. And then this is really cute. I actually think I'm going to put this. I think I'm going to put this in my 2022 reading journal. I think it'll be really cute. Okay. This is really pretty. Once you take the plastic off, you can kind of see that there's like a shimmer in that. So let's, let's read it, shall we? Defy your stars, rewrite the future. In the empire of Albion, the great dragons of old are long gone, hunted for centuries by cruel emperors fearing the power they possessed. Now governed by the science of celestial physis physicists, everyone's life is foretold by the track of stars on their wrist. When Paisley Fitzwilliam receives her track, she discovers that she is destined to die before the end of her 14th turning. Then when her mother goes missing, Paisley is the only one left who can protect her dragon-touched brother, Dax, from being exposed as a descendant of the great dragons and taken by the emperor's men. But an ancient power stalks the sewers of London. The dark dragon is rising, intent on restoring the great dragons of old at any cost, even if that means tearing Paisley's family apart. 
To save her brother, Paisley must trust her instincts and forge new friendships as she attempts to outrun fate itself. Her journey will take her across the floating burrows of London above, through a vault guarded by dragon walkers, and into the dark sewers of London below, in order to unlock an ancient secret that will not only defy her stars, but will change the course of history forever. Interesting. It sounds like it has a lot going on. Let me see. I do like that like the chapters have little decorative bits. I do like when these books do that. For only like 290 pages, that's kind of a lot of story to throw in such a little book, but it sounds intriguing. It sounds very interesting. It's weird because it talks about, uh, like, it must be, I don't know if it's just time travel or it's like location time travel, location time travel. I don't know what that means, but it's like, it talks about Albion and then it also talks about London and yet the artwork is very like Arabian. So interesting. So as a regroup, a overall, what did I get in this box? We got mug, a dragon egg bath bomb. That's Jasmine tea. Cute sticker. Cause I like it. And I want to put it in my journal. <laughs> got dragon puzzle. Oh, bro. Did I really think I was going to hold all this? Keychain. I love this keychain. Mm. Yeah. And the night silver promise. So my favorite, I think, have to say, like, the top things that I really liked about this box in particular. I'm curious about the book. The book, I don't know how I feel about the book. I don't know if it's something I would have picked up, but I'm very curious about it. It seems like a lot going on for such a small book. So, and the cover is very beautiful, for sure. Um, probably, um, I'm obsessed with the keychain. <laughs> I really love Toothless and I love the movie How to Train Your Dragon. So I think this is probably top favorite along with the mug, but I also really liked the sticker and I liked the concept of the bath bomb. I liked this box, I have to say way better than the older or the owl crate box designed for older readers. Um, I actually liked this box better. I feel like the things that came in this box, I pretty much had can find use for all of them. None of them are random or won't work or I get rid of. I could find use for all of them. I mean, even that puzzle, that puzzle, I feel like I would have a lot of fun and I know my friend's little boy would really like it and I think I'd, we'd have fun building it together. So I actually really like that. Um, it's a little young for my daughter, but perfect for him. Um, I don't take baths, but my daughter does. And maybe one day I could take one with her. Like, I just, I don't know. I think it's really cute. I like everything. I like this box. I won't do it again just because I do want to try other boxes. But if I'll keep an eye out on Alcrate Jr. And if some other boxes come up along the way that I like the theme of, I might just get it for fun. Um, the amount I purchased it for I'll put in the box in the description below because off the top of my head I can't remember I think they're $29.99 but I would hate to give you a bunch of lies so I'll go ahead and just put the amount down below and I think next month I don't know I'm gonna look through it's either gonna be loot no loot crate April it's either going to be a luma crate or fairy loot not a hundred percent sure which one I'm going to go for. I have to look at the themes and see which one I like more. Um, the cost of fairy loot is pretty high because it's coming internationally, but 
And there's a good chance that if I purchase something internationally, I probably won't get it. I don't know if I'll even get it in December because I know shipping's really off. I don't know. This is just me talking to a camera but thinking out loud all at the same time and you don't need to know that. Just know next month I will be bringing you another box and it will be a surprise <laughs> as to which box because it depends on the theme and when I'll get it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope if you have any suggestions to other bookish boxes that you like and receive and enjoy that you'll let me know in the comments below if you want to join along on this book reading journey or you want to see more videos like this please subscribe like the video if you like this kind of content and I hope to see you guys in my next video thanks so much bye <laughs>